In this video, we're going to talk about genetic engineering and how it works. This video is a first for me because it's to do with GCSE biology and this is unit one. So, our first step, we need to find a gene that we want. So we're going to find the desired gene somewhere in the DNA of an organism. And in this case, we're going to look for a gene that produces insulin. So insulin is a really important hormone to do with regulating blood sugar levels. And once we've found that gene, we're going to cut it out. And we're going to cut it out using these special enzymes called restriction enzymes. And they sort of work like a chemical pair of scissors. They snip out the DNA in a very particular place. So there we go, we've removed the gene for insulin production. And now we can throw away the rest of our DNA and concentrate on something else. So what we're going to do, we're going to take what's called a bacterial plasmid. Um, and this is a, a circular ring of DNA that we find in some bacteria. And we're going to cut that plasmid with the same enzyme. The reason why we do this is so that we, we remove a very particular section of that plasmid that our gene that we want to replicate is going to fit beautifully into. And that's stage four. So we're going to insert the desired gene into our cut bacterial plasmid. In it goes. And then we're going to insert that whole new modified plasmid into a bacterium. And we do this by giving it a little bit of an electric shock. And that causes the bacterial plasmid to be taken up into the bacteria itself. Once we've done this, we can just let the bacteria divide. And once it starts to divide, it's going to start producing insulin. Now, the more times it divides, the more insulin it's going to produce. So this is a really effective way of producing huge amounts of insulin in a very short amount of time. And that's it. That is genetic engineering of insulin.